Welcome to the homework for lesson 21. This is module 6 of first grade, and please get your name on here first. Now we have a word bank that's right here, and we're using it to write down the names of the coins. And they're given examples of them uh, front and back. So we see Abe Lincoln right here in the back. On the back side of the penny, there's the Lincoln Memorial. So those are pennies. And I'm just going to copy the spelling right up here. So the spelling, we should get this perfect because we have the example right there to copy. Two N's. And then these two here. The little ones, they're dimes. Right there. The big guys here are quarters, the one with a big eagle on the back of it. That's that one there. And the nickels are right here. And remember, sometimes this, this can really help. It actually says quarter dollar right there on that one underneath the eagle. And here, the nickel, it says five cents right on it. And that's not really the name. It doesn't say nickel. But on dimes, it actually says one dime right here. And the pennies, it says one cent. Usually in real life, though, the pennies, you can see that they're the different color because they're that copper color. Write the value of each coin. The value of one dime is ten cents. The value of a penny is one cent. A nickel is five cents. And a quarter is 25 cents. Your mom said she will give you one nickel or one quarter. Which would you take and why? Well, unless you don't like having money, or a quarter is too heavy for you to carry, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. You Most people would want the quarter. Uh, and why? You can find your own way to say it. I would take the quarter, and you should be able to spell it correctly because it's right there. And if you choose the nickel instead, the, the nickel is right there. The word is right there for you to spell. I would take in the words that you need to write when you answer these things. They're almost always look for the question mark. And the sentence that has that question mark is going to usually have almost all the words that you need to know how to spell to write your answer. I would take the quarter. It is. Worth 25 cents. And the nickel. is only five cents. And maybe you have a different way of saying it. You could, uh, you could put it, you could say the quarter is worth 20 cents more. Other ways that you can say it. Maybe you can find a way to write it that doesn't take as many words as I wrote. That's fine, as long as it makes sense. Lee has 25 cents in his piggy bank. Which coin or coins could be in his bank? So 25 cents. I mean, you could. there's a lot of different ways that you can answer this. There's a lot of right answers to it. So you could have, uh, right, and remember how we draw coins. So you could just have a 25. You can have that. That's fine. You could have two dimes. And you could have a nickel. That would be 25. You could have 25 pennies. You could have some dimes, some pennies, some nickels. Any combination, as long as it counts up to 25 cents, is fine. And now draw a different set of coins that could be in Lee's bank. So now we need just another way to draw 25 cents. And I'm going to be lazy about this and just write one quarter here. It's not going to be as much fun for him when he shakes the piggy bank. It's not going to sound like there's a lot of coins in there because it'll just be one. But 
it's the same amount of money 